everybody, um, I'm going to show you how to make a jump today. Um, this is my very first tutorial, so please bear with me. Um, the jump I'm going to be teaching you how to make is this one. Um, I won't be painting this one today, but I can do another tutorial if you guys really wanted it. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is a dowel. I believe this one is about 12 inches long, but we will be cutting it. Your hot glue gun, which mine is already ready. Um, hot glue sticks. You're going to need four or five, depending how many you want. Um, plastic shot glasses. Um, little cups, which I believe you can get like a 20 pack at the dollar store for a dollar, of course. A popsicle stick. Mine already has holes drilled because it was going to be used for something else, but I never used it. Um, another little dowel that I actually cut up. Some very strong scissors are going to be needed. Um, and just for a size reference, here is the jump. Go back here so you can see it a little bit better. And here is Kong. Just to give you an idea. So it's basically a traditional jump. But it can be used for a bigger classic jump. So the first thing you are going to want to do is you're going to want the hot glue. If you are younger, please have me don't help you. These little glasses together, which I have this side, the open open side up, so that you can put stuff in here. So you're just gonna hot glue. And I'm going to take the hot glue. Hot glue the edge. And just press them together and then let them sit. It does not take long for hot glue to dry, so sometimes you do have to work a little bit quicker. And please ignore my dog in the background. I know she's going to be kind of annoying. Um, you can put these together like I'm doing. I know it's kind of hard to see. I already have four together. I'll move them back a little bit. Like so. And I'm just going to put the last one on and do the real thing. And then those are going to dry. And while those are drying, we are going to cut a piece off of here about the same length so you're going to want to measure it so that both ends if they would stay with me will cooperate once you have it I like to hold it like this in between my scissors again tough scissors are going to be needed because it's hard to cut them um, Anyway, now that we have our two side, basically our holding sticks for the pole, done, going to set those aside, and just one last check to make sure, okay, so you're going to want to leave a little bit of a gap between the sides, so it, it's going to look a little small, but trust me, with the hot glue filling in, it'll be fine. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is turn your cups upside down. Be very careful. Some of them will not be, will probably not be held together too well. And then you're just going to want to go there, the middle, down the middle, down the middle, and then on the side. And just take your popsicle stick and please watch your fingers and just place it on top of that. It does not have to be perfectly in the middle, as you can see, some of these cups are not perfectly in line. And it should look like this. Now, it should be fine while it's drying, so we can go ahead and add the side. There are going to be a lot of um, hot glue strings, but you can take those off when it's all done. 
you're going to want to take your first side pole and I need to put mine down a little bit so I'm going to do the same thing on here you're going to want to put it about right here okay about right there just put some hot glue you are going to have to hold these so patience is definitely going to be needed Now you can take stuff to hold these together, like I use cups, and then you're just going to do the exact same thing to the other side of your line of cups. And make sure you have enough hot glue to hold this, and try and get it as straight as possible. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but you can try and get it as close to that as possible. Now you can paint these all beforehand, hand, ah, sorry, or you can just leave them natural the way you get them at Michaels or AC Miller. You can also paint the cups or put something in it like water or you can get some dirt and some fake flowers or something which is what I was going to do. Ah. Make sure that doesn't happen, it can get stuck that way. And once this one actually cooperates with me in business. <laughs> Alright. Now, one quick thing before we go ahead and glue the pole on. You're going to want to go back with your hot glue gun and just put an extra little layer if you feel like you need it. Around the top. And please be careful, sometimes this hot glue can get very hot and it can heat up the glue and it can make the previous dry glue hot again and it can get all hot. It's happened many times before. Alright, now that that is going to be almost dry, we're going to take our pole and we're going to measure it about the same height. some hot glue on it and just simply attach it. Again it's going to have to have be held until it's dry. I will skip through some of these parts so the video is not as long. It's my dog in the background, and she's going to be very noisy. Alright, and if you feel safe enough, which I don't really yet, but I will do it anyway, you can go ahead and hot glue the other side. Again, there is going to be a gap, which I would not worry about too much since it's 
You, these are somewhat flexible as this one did come undone a little bit, which I'll go back over and we'll have a look. But I did push mine in, so as you can see, this one leads in just a little bit, but I am going to continue holding it because otherwise the pull will come out. Another good thing to do is just go over it while, before the hot glue comes dry so that you can get it exactly the way you want. I like mine slide on that, but I have enough for it right now, so we'll just break that, bring it up a little bit, and it's good. And then we're just going to let that dry. Again, I'm just going over this just to make sure everything is intact and good to go. And once you feel your jump is up to the right amount you want it to, you can go ahead and unplug the hot glue gun so that it doesn't fall and burn something or someone. And hopefully your cat, like my cats do, take my hot glue gun. It's very strange. Not pay attention. And do watch your fingers. The um some I know some hot glues have um hot glue guns can get hotter than others. And mine does get very hot sometimes. I've hot, I've hot glued my fingers many times and it hurt. Alright, now that our jump is basically done, feel free to go ahead and paint it. I'm going to leave mine like this for a little bit, as I will paint mine probably tomorrow or later tonight so that I can leave it overnight and dry. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know if there's any other tutorials that you'd like to see.